And then, somehow, we started talking about what if we had sex? Boy, these are really bad details. It pains me to say this, but I may be getting too mature for details. Oh, I hate to hear this. Any kind of growth really irritates me. Well, I'll tell you, though, it was really passionate. Better than before? She must have taken some kind of seminar or something. <laughs> this is all too much. So, what are you feeling? What's going on? Are you like a couple again now? Not exactly. Not exactly. What does that mean? Well, we've tried to arrange a situation where we'll be able to do this once in a while and still be friends. trying to have their cake and eat it too. So all of a sudden, the two of you are gonna come along and do it. Where do you get the ego? <laughs> no one can do it, it can't be done. I think we've worked out a system. Oh, you know you know what you're like? You're like a pathetic gambler. One of these losers in Las Vegas who keeps thinking he's gonna come up with a way to win at blackjack. No, this is very advanced. We've designed a set of rules that we can maintain the friendship by avoiding all the relationship pitfalls. Sure. All right, all right. Tell me the rules. Okay. No calls the next day. So you have the sex. Next day, you don't have to call. It's pretty good. <laughs> Go ahead. You ready for the second one? I have to tell you, I'm very impressed with the first one. <laughs> Spending the night. Option. Now, you see, you got greedy. No, that's the rule. It's optional. I know less about women than anyone in the world. But the one thing I do know is that they are not happy if you don't spend the night. It could be a hot, sweaty room with no air conditioning, and all they have is a little army cut this wide. You're not going anywhere. I think you're wrong. I hope I am. 